We present a crowd-driven approach for designing mid-scale layouts. Our approach can synthesize mid-scale layouts optimally with respect to human crowd properties. Human activity and architectural layouts are closely related to each other. A badly designed shopping mall can result in a frustrating shopping experience, while a well-designed shopping mall provides a lot of fun and pleasure to visit. In another scenario, a badly designed train station can result in confusion and travel delays. When synthesizing a layout, our approach considers human factors such as comfort and ease of movement, which are defined as agent-based costs. To avoid the daunting overhead of running a full simulation to compute these agent-based costs, we propose a novel approach that uses regressors to approximate the cost. These regressors are trained offline using real-world data to capture the relationship between different layout features and the agent-based costs. Next, we describe our agent model, which is used to define our cost. Each agent perceives a density depending on the presence of other agents within a social distance. The perceived density affects the agent's walking speed and comfort. Each agent also has a number of goals to accomplish in a given layout. For example, in a shopping mall, an agent may first visit a bookstore, do grocery shopping, get lunch at a restaurant, go to the washroom, and then leave the mall. An agent's behavior is controlled by its state machine. After entering the layout, the agent thinks about the site to visit, and then walks towards the site using the shortest path. Once it reaches the target site, it visits the place for a certain period of time, then it leaves and goes to the next site. After visiting all the target sites, it leaves the layout. We design three costs to evaluate the agent's travel experience in a layout. The mobility cost evaluates whether the paths are conveniently laid out and congestion free. The accessibility cost checks whether the sites are reasonably distributed and if visiting any of the sites requires a long walk. The coziness cost penalizes sites of wrong sizes. As evaluating the agent-based cost by full simulation would take too long to optimize a layout, we use an approximation approach instead. Our approach makes use of regressors trained to capture the relationship between layout features and agent-based costs. Our approximation approach achieves similar performance as a full simulation would. Here the layout synthesized using full simulation and those using our approximation. They are highly similar in terms of style and final cost values. Here we show our user interface. The user can easily set the agent properties and optimization parameters. The user then launches the optimization. The optimization also includes some prior considerations. Please refer to the paper for more details. After the optimization is done, the lower window shows the graph representing the path network and visualizes the different agent-based costs using heat maps. We use our approach to design layouts for shopping malls, train stations, theme parks, and campuses. We also apply alternative crowd simulation models, PED sim and continuum crowds, to our approach in order to verify its effectiveness and generality. Here shows examples synthesized from the two models. The layouts are visually similar to the ones computed from our model. We use crowd density as a metric to evaluate layouts by two popular commercial crowd simulation applications, AnyLogic and Pathfinder. Here we show heat maps for crowd density of real world and synthesized layouts. Significant improvements is shown in the layout synthesized by our approach. Our interface also allows the user to edit a layout interactively. For example, the user can add paths around some selected sites, or merge selected regions and remodel them into new ones. Our optimizer automatically refines the layout such that it remains optimal to human crowd properties. Layouts synthesized by our approach can be used for modeling 3D mid-scale scenes. Here shows an example of a shopping mall, which provides visitors with a satisfactory experience regarding mobility, accessibility, and coziness. We have presented a crowd-driven approach for layout design. This is the end of our video. Thank you for watching.